Welcome to the Windows and Computer channel and we have a few uh, news items about the next version of Windows 10 version 2004 that is coming up in a couple of months from now. So we of course had uh, pretty much a good idea that RTM or retail uh, to manufacturing is the um, official version 19041 and of course that's what I have on my computer right now so it is ready we've seen this week that the first ISOs or images for downloading of Windows version 2004 now are available in the Windows Insider download page so you know all of these little steps is showing us that we are getting closer and closer to an official release of this well another step was actually reached we uh, now have uh, news that Enterprise can actually download this via the Windows Server Update Services. This means that they can actually access the images to download and deploy in the Enterprise to get ready for testing of what is the next version. So usually when that happens, it also tells us that this is an official version of Windows that's coming. What also we kind of learn here is that April is still officially when the deployment is going to start rolling out for everybody or, you know, for the most part. Uh, of course, I do get a lot of the common questions about new versions of Windows regularly. Uh, one of them, of course, uh, everybody's asking, you know, where can I download this? Well, if you really want it, look at the videos I posted um, this week. I have one that shows you where to get the download for Windows 10 version 2004. The other question I get is um, if I move on from Windows 7 to Windows 10 version 2004, am I getting it for free? Yes, if you have a valid product key for Windows 7, that loophole still works and will uh, probably work forever. So you can, yes, absolutely. There's uh, That's something you can do. The other uh, questions I have is about the rollout. Will I get it right away? Will I get it the first day it's out? That is very dependent on your hardware. Depends on what type of computer you have, the age of the computer, the hardware that you've got on the computer. Uh, it rolls out in waves and it rolls out to known computers. The other thing that I want to stress out here is that you should never force or push a version of Windows 10 if you don't see it. Just wait for it because uh, most people that have problems have problems because they forced it on their PC even though it was not showing up. The last question that I have also is uh, about the media creation tool. Will that be updated? As usual, it will when uh, that official release happens. So right now, if you go to the media creation tool and you download Windows from there, you're getting the November 2019 update which is the, right now the official version of Windows that's active. Uh, so April um, or you know, April 2020 update or version 2004 is going to have its um, version available through the media creation tool in April when it starts to get officially released. So of course, as we go through these steps, I will have videos to explain this. So we are really getting um, closer and closer to what the next version of Windows is going to be and how it's going to be available. And uh, of course, I will be here at the forefront of explaining all of this as things happen. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.